In this session, we will learn about splatteries. So, splatteries invented by Daniel Leiter and Robert Tarjan. The splatteries is an efficient binary search tree. So that is it should have the binary search tree property that is the root node always less than the right subtree and root node should be greater than the left subtree. Next thing is it is a self balancing tree, self balancing BST. So it is also having an additional property that the recently accessed elements can be reaccessed fast. So that is recently accessed elements can be reaccessed fast. So that means the recently accessed elements always the root of the split tree. So in this we have insertion, search and deletion operation. Okay, so every operation is combined with the splaying operation. So I'll tell you what is splaying operation. So all the operations will have amortized time of big O of log n. So that means if you have a sequence of operations, non-uniform operations, on an average, its time complexity is less. Next thing is uh, we have here some rotations just like uh, AVL trees. So the first thing is zig rotation. So in this, if the recently accessed node is this one, so this should be the, this should become the root node. So that is the N, the recently accessed node is left child of P, P is parent. Okay, so then we will rotate left. So that is n becomes the root node and p becomes the chain. For example, if 8 is the recently accessed item, so then 8 will become the root node and 10 will become the right child of 8 and 11 will be the right child and 6 will be the left child of 8 and 9 will be the left child of 10. Okay, so this is called zig rotation. Now coming to the zigzag rotation. So that is two times we are doing rotation. So that is if n is the recently accessed item that is node. So we will rotate one time. So in this case p becomes the root node and n will be the left child and g will be the right child. And one more time you will rotate uh, to make n the recently accessed node be the root node. Okay, for example, here in this case, so if 6 is the recently accessed item, so we have to rotate two times. That is, you have to apply zigzag rotation. So that is the first time this 6 will become the node here. So that means it will be like this. So it will be like this. This one. Next thing, the rest of the things are same. Okay, so one more time zigzag rotation. So that is six should be come the root node. So that is if this is the first diagram, this is second diagram, and then third diagram will be like this. So six will become the root node. Here this will be five. And uh, 10, we have 8 and then 12, the rest of the things are same. And then this will be 9. At any point of time, BST properties should be followed. So that is at any level, it should not violate the binary search property. So if you see here root left child is less than the root node and right child is greater than the root node. In this case, so
so 8 9 are less than 10 and these are greater than 10 so it is not violating the binary search tree property so we must ensure uh, that the binary search tree property is protected so next rotation is zigzag rotation so that is the new the recently accessed node is the right child of the parent and this parent is the left child of the grandparent so then one time we will do left rotation and then one more time you will do the right rotation. So that is the objective is to make the recently accessed node as the root node. For example, in this case, if 4 is the recently accessed node, I need to make this 4 as the root node. So one time left and then one time right. So that is, it will be like this. So, 4 becomes the root node here in this case, and then 5, now 7. So, one time I rotate it. So, next time I should make 4 as the root node. So, this 4 becomes the root node and this 5 and this 7 and then this 3. So, this is zigzag rotation. So, as I said you, all the operations like insert, delete, search, all these three operations should combined with the splaying. So, what is splaying means applying this zig rotations or zag, zigzag rotations, nothing but the splaying. So, splaying means make the recently accessed node as root node. So, that is splaying. So, we will see insertion operation. So, this is a binary search tree. And uh, I want to insert 81 here. Okay. So, we will follow the same procedure that we follow in binary search tree. So, 81 is compared with 54. So, you will search for right place in the right subtree. 81 is searched, is compared with 63. It is greater. So, hence we will go for uh, right subtree to find the appropriate position to insert 81. So, 81 is less than 90. So, we will go for left subtree and 81 is compared with 72. It is greater. So, we will insert 81 as a right sub, right child of 72. Okay. So, insertion of, of 81 is over. Now, we need to do the splaying because it is a splay tree. Right. So, what is splaying? You should make the recently visited node that is the recently accessed node as root node and by applying the zig rotation, zag rotation, zigzag rotation, zigzag rotation, etc. Right. So, here 81 should become the root node. This is our motive. So, first you will push this 81 here. So, that means you will rotate left. So, if you do that, then the tree will be like this. So, here 90 will be there and 99 will be there. Okay. So, next here I have 63 and here I have 54 and then the here 39 and here 45. Okay. So, now I need to push this 81 to upper level. So, that means instead of 90, I should make, uh, that is I should uh, bring 81 here. So, that means I have to rotate right so that is 81 and now 90 99 and uh, 72 okay so the rest of the tree will be same so that is you will have here 54 and here 39 and here 45 okay so now at this level again i need to bring 81 to the upper level so that means i need to replace this 63 with the 81. So, that means again I need to rotate left. So, then the tree will be like this. So, that is 81, 63 will be my left child and here 90 and 99. 72 will be the right child of 63 because you should at always at every point you should uh, keep in mind that the binary search tree property should not be violated. Okay, 72 is less than 81, hence it should be in the left subtree of 81 itself. So, next the rest of the tree is same. So, this is 54 and this is 39 and this is 45. 
so one more level i need to do it so that is this 81 should come as a root node so again i will have to rotate left so that is uh, 81 and then i have here 54 so here i have 90 so this should be 63 72 okay so i have again here 39 here i have 45 okay so ensure that the binary search tree property should not be violated so here 45 is greater than 39 not violated so 49 39 and 45 is less than 54 not violated 63 and 72 are greater than 54 not violated so all these items are less than 81 not violated and here you have 99 so these two elements are greater than 81 so the final uh, tree split tree is this one so that means the recently accessed node 81 become the root node so that means in split trees insertion operation is insertion operation is combined with splay okay. now we'll see the search operation so i want to search for 81 so search operation also the same as the search operation in the binary search tree so 81 is compared with 54 81 is compared with will go it is greater hence we will search in the right subtree 81 is compared with 63 81 is greater hence we will search in the right subtree 81 is uh, uh, 81 is compared with 90 it is lesser hence we go and search in the left subtree 81 is compared with 72 here i don't have any child hence the search procedure is stopped here so that means the search is unsuccessful okay so that is the 81 is not found in this binary search tree so again as it is a splay tree the search operation should be combined with the splaying playing in the sense the recently accessed node should be the root node so here the recently accessed node is 72 hence we do the splaying operations and we, we have to make this 72 as the root node. So, first thing is in this from this level, I should bring 72 to this level, then this level and this level. So, first I will rotate to the right side. So, 72, I have 90, 99. Okay. So, here I have again 63. Okay. So, the rest of the tree will be the same uh, so from this level to this level i should bring so then 72 this 63 90 and 99 so i am drawing the rest of the tree that is 54 i have here 39 i have here 9 i have here sorry so 27 and i have here 18 okay so now i have to bring this 72 to this level so that means the root node so i will rotate left again so 72 so 54 will be my left chain here i have 90 will become the right child of 54 and here i have 39 this is 9 and i have here 20 sorry 27 is the right child of 9 and i also have 18 okay so as i told you ensure the property of the binary search tree so here 18 is less than 27 up to this level binary search tree property is okay so now coming to this level 27 and 18 is greater hence it is in the right subtree so 39 9 27 and 18 are less than 39 they are in the left subtree fine next 54 all these elements are less than 54 so it does not violating the property of binary search tree 63 is greater than 54 not violating 
so all these items all these values are less than 72 so they are in the left subtree it's not violating the binary search tree property 1991 are greater and they are in the right subtree hence it is not violating binary search tree property at any level so this is the final tree okay 72 becomes the uh, root node here I want to delete 39 from this tree. Uh, so as I said you, every operation in splay trees is combined with the splaying. So first we need to delete this 39 in the given binary search tree. The same procedure is followed that we follow the in deletion in binary search tree. So 39 first we need to find out. So 39 is compared with 81. It is lesser. So we will go and search in the left sub tree. So, 39 is compared with 63. It is lesser. Hence, again we traverse in the left subtree. So, 39 is compared with 54. Uh, so, it is less than. So, we go to the left subtree. So, here I found the 39. So, this should be deleted first. So, what we do in the binary search tree? So, if we delete a node here and it is having both left shell and right shell. So, then what is the procedure we follow? We will choose the smallest element from the right subtree or the greatest element from the left subtree and you replace you, you replace 39 with that node. So, I am choosing the smallest value from the right subtree and I am replacing uh, 39 with that value. So, that means the smallest element in the right subtree is 45. So, 45 I am taking and then 47 so this is uh, I have 9 here 18 okay so the rest of the tree will be same okay so that is after deletion this is my tree okay now I need to apply splaying so what is the recently accessed item the recess recently accessed item is 54 why because the search operation is stopped at 54 so 39 when we are searching for 39 39 last compared with 54 so that is the search operation stopped at this level so 54 is the recently accessed node so you need to make this 54 as the root root node so first rotation and then second so that means after first rotation, so 54 will be my node here 63 and 72. So the rest of the things will be same. So that is 9, here 18 and here this is 47. Uh, next thing here 81 and 90, 99. That is 99. So, I need to make 54 as the root node. So, here I am drawing. So, 54. And then here 81, 90, 19. So, here I have 45, 9, 18. This is 47. 63 will become the left child. And then this is 72. Okay, so remember that we should protect the binary search tree property at every level. So after playing, you just check for the binary search tree property, whether it is violated at any level or not. So this level, right hand side elements are greater than the root node. So here also 47 greater than 45, 9 and 18 are less than 45. So 54, 45, 47, 9 and 18 are less than 54. And these are all elements greater than 54. So 63 is less than 81 hence it is in the left chain so 72 is greater than 63 it is in the right chain so 63 and 72 are less than 81 they are in the left chain 1999 are greater than they are it is in the right chain so it is not violating the binary search tree property at any level so 54 is the recently accessed item and it became the root node so with this the deletion operation is over in the split trees we will see the advantages of the splay trees. So, as splay trees having the unique property that is uh, 
recently accessed node will be the root node it is implemented in caches so generally cache memory is used to store the frequently accessed items and splitteries are used for its implementation it is also used to implement the garbage collection algorithms so split trees are simpler than the other uh, self balancing trees just like uh, avl trees and and red black trees so it also minimizes the memory requirements because it doesn't uh, keep any book uh, it doesn't store bookkeeping data so see it is also having the disadvantages so that is for non uniform access uh, these uh, split trees uh, gives uh, uh, amortized time complexity of big o of log n but in uh, uh, but this but for uniform access operations it is uh, having a drawback so these for these type of uh, uh, operations the remaining self balancing trees will be efficient than using the split trees